Hi and welcome to Copenhagen. I am Amber and together with Interpark and Messe Düsseldorf we are here today in Denmark to find out where these sweet treats actually come from. In fact, we are visiting Asted, one of the worldwide market leaders for production solutions within the chocolate, bakery and confectionery industry. With over 100 years of experience, the family-owned business is driven by passion for innovation and continuously pushes boundaries. Let's have a closer look. Where did Astrid come from? And how would you say um, the former processes influence um, the strategy and also um, the, the whole production in itself? I today. think it comes from the curiosity. Curiosity in seeing how things are done, trying to optimize them, make them better, discuss why they are as they are, and then look for the next level of things. Yeah. And I think if you go back in history to my, my father, my grandfather, this has been the heritage of Arsted. We have all been, always been teasing the existent and trying to improve ourselves. In today's world, I think there's a reason why we are here, because we have been able to convey this legacy into the engineering of our things. And uh, all our young people here today are really driven by the enthusiasm of seeing what this can be driven to. Because yeah, we have how, the how to make it sustainable exactly, exactly. in the end, right? Yeah, yeah. So in all modesty, I think with the team and the very good young engineers we have here, we have a great platform to move on into to the future. Thank you very much, You're Alan. welcome. You're welcome. I'm here now with Pete from Asted, and I'm very happy to be able to ask him some questions today, like what is the role of Asted within the industry? Well, I think uh, the role uh, is and has been for decades now uh, focusing on innovation, uh, lots of R&D, uh, new uh, processes and new machines. Uh, we very much like to, to push the boundaries for the business, for the industry, and, and we just like to come up with new stuff uh, on, the, on the machine part. So, how do your innovations take part in creating a valuable circular economy? If we look on the uh, energy optimization uh, machines and items. We have been uh, been doing that for decades already. We introduced the supernova energy machine uh, mm. 10 years ago and and uh, so we have been focusing on the different machines that can do different energy optimizations. What we're doing now is that we would like to take that one step further so instead of only looking at the, the machines and the items we would now like to look at the, the system so actually the entire site and uh, the factory. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks a lot, very informative. No I'm happy to learn more. Hello Amanda, it's nice to meet you here. I'm here to ask a few questions about uh, Asted and the topic of sustainability. As a sustainable partner, how do you create a sustainable impact on the industry, but also for further generations? In Asset, it's really important for us to look in a holistic way on sustainability. So one way we've done that is looking at what's the most material issue in the industry at the moment. We see that um, carbon footprint is a really big um, thing that we should focus on. So what we've done is we signed up to science-based target initiative okay. and we really uh, have set our targets for being net zero in our own production, which is also called scope one and two and also reducing our emissions in a value chain. So that's the scope three we're talking about here. We've already done quite a lot on this. So we changed all our uh, lighting to be uh, LED and we changed from gas pump to heat pumps. And overall that should give us an estimation of a 50% reduction in our site emissions here. Wow, so that's really a lot you have already done. Yeah, which is amazing and we're only getting started. So actually this building right here is our technology center. So we are transitioning that into now implementing our energy solutions. So we're looking at um, this is kind of a showcase to show how can you optimize energy, not just in the product, but in the entire energy system. Thank you very much, Amanda. It's a pleasure to talk to you. You too, thank I've you. I've learned a lot today. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mats, Interpac 2023 is coming nearer. 
What can we expect from Asted next spring at Interpac? Yeah, you can expect quite a lot. Uh, this time we have, first of all, we have a much bigger booth than we ever had before. Uh, and I really look forward to that because I think it was in the 80s I started coming at Interpac and uh, as a young man or kid nearly, and um, there we only had 75 square meters. But what are we going to show at Interpac is that we're going to have a lot of new uh, innovations, especially because it is six years ago we were the last time. And for that time we have developed a lot within energy saving, but we also developed a lot of machinery for uh, new innovations on tempering, rope, bakery, uh, uh, you name it. So, uh, we really look forward to that. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you at Interpac.